Weaver here, welcome to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Last episode we made our way into Lavender Town and didn't really do much there. We spent the entire episode actually making it there. So now I wanted to go back and take on any trainer we might have rushed past because I really just wanted to go and get our Pokemon healed up because they were really taking a beating. So we're just gonna run through a couple of these trainers up this way, take them out, and then explore Lavender Town a bit and see what that's gonna be like. Pokemon Ate Damien, send out Charmeleon. Look at him go. Okay, so we're, ta we're taking out Tonka. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So actually, yeah, we're in a perfect set to win this right now, so let's just keep doing Water Gun. That'll be good. This is pretty cool. Starter versus Starter. Evolution 2 after Evolution 2. I like it. We should be able to handle him, no problem. We might even get a level up for Tonka here if we do. So that'd be awesome. So I did want to talk about a couple of things you guys you know recommended for me. The big one was uh, to keep in mind that Lily, our Mew, can actually learn any TM. That is Mew's big benefit. So I wanted to hear you guys' suggestions on which TMs we should use. I'll probably, once I'm done taking on the, all the trainers, I'll take a look at all the TMs I have. And I figured I would want to use a TM for a typing. There we go, level 26, right? Or 27, 27. Um, I would want to use it for a typing that we don't currently have. So if we could get like a ground type TM, that'd be really awesome to uh, defend against any kind of like electric type. Uh, Tonka wants to learn to move bite. Mm, I don't think we need you to learn to move bite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip out on that one. So, keep on moves. And of course, if we can learn anything like a psychic type move or anything, that would be awesome. And there we go, we defeated Maniac Damon, or Pokey Maniac Damon. Oh no, my precious Pokemon. He doesn't seem too upset about it, but okay. What else can we do around here? Looks like, well first level, let's talk to you. I don't like you, I don't like anyone better than me. Well, that's not a good way to move forward in the world. Anyways, uh, so we've talked to all these people. Oh no, we haven't, that's right, I walked right past them. Ah, this is mountain air is delicious. Delicious, how do you taste the air? Huh, weird. Um, Camper Trent? I mean, I, I guess it's just sort of like a saying. He's not crappy. So, unfortunately, Squirrel's not gonna help me out too much here, so we might wanna switch on over to uh, Eve, the Pikachu. So let's go to our Pokemon, and Eve should be just fine. Or we could have done Charlotte, but you know what? I sort of wanna play with Eve. But this will be fun. Tonka, switch out, come back. And go on, Eve, I, can, I know you can do it. But yeah, also you guys let me know a quick tip for catching Pokemon. If I catch the same Pokemon over and over, apparently there is a heightened chance of more rare Pokemon coming out of the woodwork. So if there's any kind of specific Pokemon we're looking for that might be particularly rare, if I catch the same Pokemon over and over again, like a Rattata and got like a huge combo up, the higher chance that rare and shiny Pokemon might show up. I mean, I'm not like particularly looking for shiny Pokemon, but if I run into one, I'll definitely try to catch it. Lily Grid level 31, I'm so proud. Camper Trent out is about to send out Sand Slash. I definitely want to change my Pokemon, switch it out. Might just go right back to Tonka. I feel like that's gonna be the best idea. So let's do it. Come on back, Eve. Tonka's gotta show Sand Slash who's boss. Awesome stuff. But yeah, I really do appreciate the feedback. I know I haven't been getting back to it right away just because, you know, I uh, record a lot of these episodes in bulk, so I don't. I get, it just takes me a little while to hear all of your messages, but I do get to them. So looks like you're gonna do some Fury Swipes that I'm not too worried about. Well, they hurt a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, so let's go back into it and do another Water Gun. And boom. There we go, that's enough to take you down. So another trainer defeated. I don't know if the trainer over this one we have defeated yet, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. And did anybody get a level up? Not quite. Oh, I lost, it happens, don't worry. Two great balls though, that's great to see. And uh, I feel bloated on mountain air. Wow, okay. Okay, so we have talked to you. The Pokemon here in the mountains are so chunky. I wish they were pink Pokemon with a floral pattern. I'm sure there are somewhere. Yeah, we did talk to you, didn't we? Uh, so this guy, you know, we'd have to battle still. We hikers are natural on climbing mountains. Well, let's see about that. We already have Tonka out, so if you throw out any kind of rock type, we should be able to handle it without too much of an issue. It's Hiker Clark. You send out Geo, dude. Yeah, there's gonna be easy peasy. So let's get to it. Go Tonka. Okay, so uh, let's fight and Water Gun. Water Gun might even be a one-hit takedown. If so, that'd be beautiful. It is super effective. Geodude fainted. Was that his only Pokemon? It may have been. Uh, nope, Graveler. Um, I'm gonna stick with what I have. Of course, Graveler is the evolution of Geodude. 
which I think we have caught a Graveler now, so if we ever evolve a Graveler into its next evolution, that'd be awesome. But for now, let's just worry about this. Water Gun again, will this be enough to take you down? It will, wow, we that is so good. I like how it just falls flat on his face, too. Okay, well, very awesome, Hyper Clark was not that much of a challenge for you. I'm worn out from all, from walking through that tunnel. Oh, well, okay, take a rest. So there we go, I think that's all the trainers up here. I think we definitely took care of all the trainers in the cave itself. Oh, oh we hikers aren't prepared to cr for cross country. Oh my. And we found three great balls, awesome. No like patches of Pokemon around here, so I think we'll be fine with moving forward now that we've done that. But uh, yeah, let us get through Lavender Town, the creepy, creepy place. Don't go disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. If this is the Pokemon Tower right here, I don't know how I feel about it. Pokemon Tower, be calm the spirits of Pokemon. It's so sad, it's like a little graveyard or something. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, well there's ghost type Pokemon, yeah. Really? So there are believers. Uh, what if I say no? Haha, <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder, I'm just imagining it. So you're a believer as well? Lavender Town, the noble purple town. Hello. This town is famous for all the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. That is so sad, my heart! <laughs> Did we even talk to anybody inside of this area? And then it goes back to being happy, cheering music. I don't think we did, so I'm going to real fast. I mean, maybe I'll go through it and quickly realize that I have, but always good to make sure. We gotta heal these guys up anyways. And then maybe we'll also check out our TMs and see which TMs I have available for Lily before we go through Lavender Town. Because I know there are some battles in the Lavender Town Tower, if it's anything like the original game. Okay, so if we take a look at our TM case, I really, like I guess on the bottom left it tells you if it's normal, electric, fighting, and like as you can see, for all of them it says Lily can learn. I don't have a ton of them right now, and most of them, oh we do have a ground one though, this one's Dig. I do wanna, let's see, uh, the user burrows into the ground and then attacks them the next turn. I feel like that'd be actually pretty useful for Lily. So let's go ahead and just, uh, you put it up the TM, and I think TMs you can use more than once. Lily, learn dig. Yes, okay, awesome. So if we ever change our minds, we could just change it up. I mean, there's also, what is this one? That one's water, it's scald. The user shoots boiling hot water at its target. This may also leave the target with a burn. Huh, interesting. That might be good for Tonka. Maybe at some point we should consider it. All right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk to everybody around here. I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket, but she got caught. I was so scared that I couldn't even go to try to save her. Aw, oh, that's a shame, poor little Cubone. What about you? Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There's no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. Wow, I don't like him already, and I already didn't like him. Do Cantonian Diglets look smooth? My Diglet looks prickly. Do you want to trade our Diglet? Oh yes, definitely, because we have actually a couple of Diglets, as you can see, uh, and I will trade away the lowest level one, which is this level 13. I'll versus trade, trade Pokemon. So where do we get an Alolan Diglet? Hehe, <laughs> so exciting, let's do this. Very cool. So we've got an Alolan Geodude and an Alolan Rattata. Now we're getting an Alolan Diglet, which is super duper awesome. Got this cool Pokemon trade. And this is he's like a little yellow twig of hair on the top. That's sort of cute. I like it. Diglet, Digent? I guess, yeah, I guess like Diglet, Diglet. I don't know. <laughs> she sent over Diglet though. Very, very cool. So there we go. We got ourselves in a lowland Diglet. Wow, it's true. It looks so smooth. Thank you so much. Let's try it again, okay? And I think that like if we ever want to, uh, like she has more than one Diglet as well. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk to the last person in this room, it is you. You know how Cubone wears skulls, right? From what I've heard, it seems people will pay a lot for one of those skulls. Oh, wow, that's sort of messed up. A flyer stuck between the magazines, will you read it? Yeah. A word of gratitude from the Pokemon house. Two of our Pokemon were able to meet new trainers and be adopted last month. Our thanks to everyone in the community who helped make this possible. We apologize for those uh, for the noise the Pokemon make every day, but we hope you will all continue supporting the Pokemon house. I will. I love supporting the Pokemon house. Whatever that is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, back to the creepy, creepy lavender town. We got more people to talk to, hello. There's talk about ghosts appearing lately in the Pokemon tower. I think there's the spirits of Pokemon kidnapped by Team Rocket and never seen again. Oh, that's awful. 
So what is this way? Route 8. I love how it just goes back to happy cheer music the moment you leave Lavender Town. Pokemon House, where love is volunteered freely. Oh, this is Pokemon House, what do you know? So let's go into this one, see what's going on. Uh, there's you over here. That's odd, Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where did he go? Mr. Fu Fuji? I don't know who that is. This place is actually not Mr. Fuji's home. He's really kind. He looks after Pokemon that have been abandoned or orphaned. And he's missing. That's a bit concerning. I love these little drawings in the background. They're adorable. I like it. Where did he go? We gotta save him. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming he needs to be saved. Maybe he wouldn't want to go to the bathroom. I don't know. What else do we got? Got this old lady. Hi. Ah, the smell of incense is so refreshing. Okay, cool. <laughs> don't have much to say about that one. And what we got going on in here? If a support trainer battles alongside you, you can have two Pokemon on your side to take on one opposing Pokemon. You can have the upper hand. It's true, apparently this game is way easier in co-op mode. I'm searching for items that boosts a Pokemon stats for the length of one battle. X attack, X defense, X speed, and X special attack. Those are what I'm after. Do you know where I can get them? Yeah, the very store you're standing in. <laughs> uh. Did you buy some revives? They'll revive a Pokemon that fainted. They're really handy. Yeah, I got a couple of them already. Welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. We have almost $50,000 now. I have a decent amount of great balls. So I think I'm gonna keep, uh, I should buy at least, I should have like at least 30 sitting around. I think that's pretty good. I have the money, so it doesn't have to give a deal. And apparently every 10 Pokeballs I buy, I get one Premier Ball, so it's good to keep that in mind as well. Um, everything else I think I'm doing pretty well on. I'm just looking at the in your bag count on the left. I do wanna buy three more lures. I always like to have five of everything, that way we're sort of meeting whatever demands we might run into. Except for like all this X stuff. I don't know if I ever really use it. Any like in battle stuff, I don't know. I just don't usually use it too much. Maybe at some point, maybe I should consider that, but I guess we'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay, for now, what else do we have to explore around here? One last house, I don't know, two more. Okay, let's go into these. Okay, old man, what's up? Be sure to name your Pokemon with love when you give them a new name. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. Yeah, I name all mine after my cats that I love very much, thank you. And you can name something silly and still love it. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's up to the, the individual, really. I can't even, I can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Right now, we're taking care of Cubone, whose mother, Marowak, was, she was caught by Team Rocket, and that was it. We never saw her again. Oh, I'm gonna get that Marowak back. I, I guarantee it, or at least I'll try. So is there any way to go down, or is that everything for Lavender Town? There is a way to go down. This is Route 12. But at this point, I think I'm sort of going off too far. It's cool that you could just sort of keep going, but I definitely want to explore Lavender Town as much as possible. So now that we've talked about or talked to everybody outside of the tower, let's go into the tower. Ooh, actually, okay, it's just as spooky in here. I was gonna say a little less spooky, but now, did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. Thank you. What about this guy? I can't forget my dearly departed Clefairy. Ugh. Oh, this won't do, I'm awash in tears. I This is like the saddest part of any Pokemon game I've ever seen. Oh dear, what a co cute boy. Are you heading up to the Pokemon Tower? What a kind child you are. I have an idea. I bet the Pokemon here would be even happier to see you if you had a spiffy outfit on. You get the formal set from the old lady. Okay, cool. Hello dear, how did you like the outfit? I wanted you to wear it because you looked like my grandson. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out. We'll put on some new gear for today. Uh, clothing trunk, did Pokey, or no, po Pokemon, did Eve get anything? Uh, yeah, she he did, she did. Oh my gosh, I can't get anything right today. Uh, so it looks like we're both gonna be looking pretty formal. Oh, I love that, that is so adorable. Switch to Zebra, and do our formal. Awesome, and then formal outerwear. Oh, we're gonna look so, so cool. I like how you can mix and match it too, just in case you wanted to look formal on the top and Pikachu on the bottom, <laughs> for whatever reason. And then shoes, formal shoes, and then lastly we need the formal bag, which I, I, I need to turn to even see. I like that, it actually looks really good. <laughs> cool, so we're looking nice and formal now, and we can continue to explore this lobby area. If there's anything really too much more to explore, we got this lady to talk to. My sweet Growlithe, why did you have to die and leave me? No, that's so sad, I don't wanna hear it anymore. The Pokemon Tower was erected in the ceremony, or the, in the memory of the Pokemon that passed away. 
Oh. I'm a channeler, one who speaks to the spirits. I sense a lost spirit somewhere high in this tower. Well, that's unsettling, because that's exactly where we're going. I'm gonna go reach the tippity top of this tower, whoa. Can't you find Pokemon walking around in this tower as well? I think that there's also trainer battles, battles, and hey look, it's Lion. You there, if you wish to know the truth beyond the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we channelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, yes, perhaps a self-scope might let one see the truth behind its mystery. Don't we have one of those? I mean, maybe the power-up pocket, and there's no power-ups. Okay, I have no clue, maybe we don't, but hey, Lion over here. What are you doing? Just chilling out? Oh. Hey, if it isn't Zebra, but what are you doing here? No way, Zebra, your Pokemon didn't d die or anything, right? No, of course not. Oh boy, I'm glad I was wrong this time, but maybe I should check that your Pokemon really are doing well with a battle. Luckily, we just healed up. <laughs> Okay, so we're taking on Lion in the middle of a graveyard. I'm pretty sure this is the most disrespectful thing we'd be doing right now, Lion. But all right, we're battling in a graveyard. Going against Pidgeotto, I should probably switch over to Eve then. I mean, is flying good against water? Lion's not good against water. I don't know if it's actually like, you know, normal against water. We're just gonna go ahead and switch over to Eve. It'll make it easy enough. Switch. All right, Tonka, get out of here. And then Eve, you got it. Okay, so the opposing Pidgeotto used wing attack, which really won't be all that effective against Pikachu. So yep, pretty good there. Fight, and I think we'll try Thunder, right? Like Thunder is 110 damage. This is 90, this is 50. But that's always, it's a guaranteed crit though, so that might actually end up helping. Let's try it out. Whoop! Whoa, -ho -ho, it's good, it's real good. Super effective. Critical hit, yep, we know all the details. <clears throat> So who do, who do you got next? 329 experience, very good. Fred, go to level 28, I'm so proud. Yeah, go Fred. Oh, Gloom. Okay, so we're fine with that. We should be able to switch over to Fred and just leveled up and just use some fire moves on him. Because Gloom is a plant or like a grass poison, I believe, so this should be good. Lion sent out Gloom, yep. So, uh. What do we got next? Okay, let's just go ahead and do Ember. I don't know too much about Dragon Rage, but I'll try to keep in mind. So that did do decent damage. The problem is that the Glooms are pretty high level at level 27. I'm trying to keep everybody up to speed with levels, but it's not always easy. Uh, Fred fell asleep. Uh-oh, that's actually a bit of a problem. This attack hits a target with a shockwave of pure rage. Hmm. It'd be cool if I could just still find a way to wake us up right now. Fred is fast asleep, maybe I should see if I don't have any awakening? I mean, I should. So it'd be good to use that instead of taking a couple turns worth of damage, so. Bag, and awakening. Awakening, awakening, awakening. Here it is. No, no, not that. This, gotcha. Use this item on Fred. You used awakening. Okay, Fred's back up. You're gonna use acid again, I'm totally fine with that. And let's fight. And Ember. Okay, so, ooh, not bad right there. Super effective. You're gonna use Sleep Powder again? Come on, that's so lame. Maybe it won't work. It will work. Oh, that stinks. Should I use another Awakening? You're making me waste money now. You owe me after this. Okay, Awakening one more time. Got it. We've lost 30 health at this point. Oh, using a Hyper Potion, really? That's just not cool. But I mean, I guess there are worse things he could have done. He could have tried to put us to sleep again. Fight, and then, should I try? I'll try Dragon Rage. It might not be that good. Whoa, not bad, actually. Oh, we avoided it. That's good to see. Getting tired of uh, that sleep powder, for sure. Use Ember, might be enough to take you down. It's getting close. You're using acid, which means I should be able to take you down with our next Ember. That would be perfect. Fight, and Ember. And see ya. So which Pokemon do you have next? It should be the Eevee, right? Which, there isn't anything particularly that we have that would be good against the Eevee, so just whatever feels right, I guess. Uh, no, Jolteon, ooh, Jolteon. We're gonna switch over to Lily and see if that ground type move 
So it looks like he, did he do that last time? I think last time it was just an Eevee, but it looks like he evolved his Eevee to a Jolteon. That is so cool. Or wasn't it a Flareon last time? No, I think we just went against a Flareon somewhere else. Jolteon looks so cool! All the evolutions look super awesome. So we're gonna try Dig. It's a ground type move. It should be good against electric types. You're gonna try Thundershock right away, which doesn't really hurt too much. So we're gonna bury a burrow underground. Not too much uh, Jolteon can do to us right now. Um, Yeah, and that's not gonna land. Okay, let's try this out. How much damage will this do? A ton, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's fight again, and we're just gonna do Swift. Just to finish them off right now. Oh no, they get to attack first. That's fine, that's fine. And boom, we got it. So not a bad battle right there. I'm really glad we taught Dig to Lily here. I don't know if, if there's any other moves you guys wanna suggest me to uh, teach the, the, the Mew here. Maybe your Pokemon are doing a little too well. Wow, we, we beat them good. <coughs> <coughs> Oh shoot, when we battled, we scared off that Cubone. Was there a Cubone? You know, Cubone, Cubone right, Zebra? It's a Pokemon that always is wear, wearing a skull. That Cubone looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on one of the higher floors? So yeah, it's looking for its mother. Anyways, we can go ahead and see Pikachu. Eve is so happy. Eve is acting like it wanted to touch Lion's hair. No, this wasn't me, my friend. What are you talking about? You gotta touch my hair. <laughs> there we go. You're so cute in your formal wear. You're so adorable. That cute one looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's something like, yep, higher floors. What about these gravestones? Can we read these? Like some of them are just different colors and stuff. Oh, a Pokeball. You found the next attack, awesome. Okay, what else can we find? Oh, I want to get to the bottom of this. How did a coward like me end up in charge of, of the Pokemon Tower? Oh, of battle? Well, I'm kinda strong. Battle. Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, so we're going against another coach trainer thing. Hopefully we turn out okay with this one. Coach Trainer Holly. Coach Trainer Holly sent out Geodude. Oh, we should still have Tonka as our first one, so this should be A-okay. Take on. Lots of trainers have Geodude around here, which is great for me, because it's something we can easily handle. Oh gosh, Rock Slide. Oh, you got to attack first there. Oh, that hurt too. Let's use Water Gun. Well, that was actually not enough to one hit you. Usually it is. A little scary. Should I try Bubble instead? I mean, I don't, I don't know if it'll do any better. So this dude must have like faster speed than we do. Oh my gosh, Tonka, hold on tight. Wait, we couldn't move? What? Okay, you know what? Let's go. Bag and do Hyper Potion, or Super Potion. Yeah, we don't have a Hyper Potion yet. This might help, but I don't know. That's a little concerning how tough this Geodude is. For whatever reason, he really just hits hard. I mean, I don't know if that's really gonna do anything because this they're just gonna rock slide twice and then I'm gonna be back to where I was. But if I could just hit you again, that'd be great, but I don't know what the chances are of that. Rock slide again. Oh my gosh, you are so tough. Come on, can I land my move or no? I couldn't move, what the heck? Come on. Okay, so who can I use instead then? I'm gonna use Kobe. Let's just switch out with the Kobe. I know Kobe's a little bit lower level. I don't know, the trainers are really tough around here. We gotta catch some Pokemon to earn some levels or something. Okay, Kobe, you know what to do. Defend against this Rock Slide as much as you can. It did some damage, but since it wasn't very effective, it worked out pretty well. Fight, and then let's do, let's just do, I mean, we have a couple of options. Equal to the user's level. I think we're just gonna do the Karate Trap. I think that would be good. But you get to use Rock Slide first. Oh man, they just get to keep attacking over and over again. Okay, we're actually able to use our move though, to some amount, that's good. The only problem is we might get taken out here if we're not, you know, lucky. Come on, come on, please. Oh, that is so close. Please let this be enough to take you down, please. Oh no, yes, okay, we got it. Yeah, so I have my voice is all off today. I don't know what's going on. I hope I'm not becoming sick again, but I uh, guess we'll find out as we get along with the uh, winter. Oh, tremble, tremble, I tremble at your strength. <laughs> all right, uh, maybe you should leave before you get too scared. That battle took my mind off things a little bit. Here, I found these laying around. Five Pikachu candies, oh, that's awesome. 
The candies that make Pokemon stronger. I have a bunch too, I kept them safe in my candy jar. Uh, the candies that make the, okay. And then Pikachu wants our attention, so let's go ahead and figure this out. Hmm, looks like Eve has a present for me! Thank you so much! A tropical shell, a beautiful white shell that may have drifted upon a, from a sea in a warm region. What is that about? Okay, let me go ahead and give you a pet. You are so wonderful and adorable. I love you. So I don't wanna go all the way back to the, you know, the healing area. So I'm gonna use my bag and just heal some people up with the uh, medicines that we have. So if we have some normal potions, let's use a couple of those, just like that. 20 points, another 20 points there. Just try to get people healed up a little bit more so that we can handle what's coming ahead. Cause there are some stuff coming ahead, I'm sure, but it won't be so easy to deal with. Use our last potion on Fred. That's fine. And then I need, where was the super potions? Right here. And the super potion I'll use on Kobe. And then I think everything should be fine with that. We're not in bad straits with that kind of health. So we could go up the steps, but there was something down here I wanted to check out. Like what's going on with all this? Hmm. I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like much, but there is one Pokeball, so it was worth it. And an elixir, cool. Okay. So I don't think we can read any of these gravestones, so we're good to keep moving forward. This is the saddest place ever. I don't wanna be here for any longer than we have to, but if I can get cool stuff out of it, I definitely wanna make sure that happens too. Uh-oh, oh, lion's following us. Cubone, Cubone, come out, come out wherever you are. I don't see any sign of it. Huh? Is that? Oh no, it's a... It's a, it's a, go, 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 go. Ghost, ah! Run away. Get out, be gone. No. Oh, there's a Cubone. Me, me. What you doing? Oh, the Cubone's chasing it away. Weird. Ma. Are you leaving? Cubone sadly trudged away down the stairs. What was that about? I don't know, but it seemed really sad. Oh, more of them. So are these, oh, these are battles. I'm pretty sure get out, be gone. Is this a battle? With some ghost type Pokemon? No, it just brings us back. We were sent back to 1F, that's not what I wanted. I thought it was gonna be like a Pokemon battle. What does Pikachu have to say now, Eve? Oh, you look so worried. Eve looks frightened by the spooky atmosphere. It's okay, it's okay, don't you worry about it. Okay, uh, can we talk to you anymore? Now you don't have anything new to say at the least. Let's get back up there and figure that out again. So we have to avoid those ghosts, but unfortunately they don't act as battles in any way. That's a bit of a pain. Okay, so oh, what now, What do you have to say now, Pikachu? Oh, you're just worried about the spooky atmosphere again. It's okay, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna avoid any ghosts I can, but if we can also, yeah. Go against some trainers. Be gone, malevolent spirit! Ah, qua! I'm not a malevolent spirit. I'm, I'm, we're just a young boy with a with a Pikachu. Channeler Patricia. She seems to be a little bit in over her head. So now Ghastly. Oh, cool. This is a ghost type Pokemon. I like it. I don't know what's good against ghost type. Maybe normal? No. I don't want to make too much sense. What it? I don't know. Uh, for right now, let's just try this. <laughs> and do Sucker Punch. Ooh. Oh, that didn't really hurt too much. Water gun! Now that did some good numbers. It wasn't like special effective or, yeah, special, or super effective or anything. But hey, enough to take him down. That's good. 128 experiences, not too much. Kobe grew to level 26, awesome! And Ghastly. Let me go ahead and switch to Lily and we'll do some normal type moves and see if that does anything. Cause I'm pretty sure that like dark and ghost are good against psychic, but normal is good against ghost. I might be wrong though. These are the types that I'm not as familiar with as you know, as simple as like fire and water and grass are. This is a little bit more confusing to me. So we'll just do swift and see how much damage that does. Uh, it does not even affect you at all. Okay, so that's wrong. Oh boy. And that might be super effective. We're about to find out. Whoa, it burned us. Well, it was burned. Okay, that's good to know, but a little worrying. We could do Amnesia. So, I mean, this just sharply raises you. I don't know if that'll actually help too much. Let's just try Dig. 
can use Dig, burn itself underground. Maybe this will just do enough damage to get rid of them. They're gonna use Nightshade, but that won't hurt us. Awesome. And then we're just gonna try using Dig. Boom! Nice, not bad. It's super effective. Ground is good against Ghost. Another great reason I'm glad I learned Dig. <laughs> All right, 154 experience, and Charlotte grew to level 30, the big 3-0. Oh. Channel where Patricia has been defeated. Woo, the spirit left. That was your Pokemon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You threw that Pokemon out. The others above, they must be possessed as well. Okay, let's take you on, and then we'll get that Pokeball. Oh my, the ghosts are coming for us too. <laughs> Qua! These channelers are just weird. I guess they're seeing a lot of ghosts, and that's the th sort of thing that's made them go crazy. This is Channeler Carly. So now Ghastly again. So we might just keep with Mew whenever I can. I mean, right now we can just do the, the bubble. Like the water gun and the bubble moves did enough damage to warrant it, so I think we're just gonna keep moving with that. So, water gun. Not bad. You're gonna do Will of Wisp again, try to burn us, but I don't know if like uh, water types are immune to burn. They're not. You just want too much damage is all. Did four damage, I think? I don't know. Anyways, let's just do another water gun. Or not, whoa, you get to do Sucker Punch before us? Yikes. Come on, come on, this might be enough to finish you off, that'd be perfect, and it is, and you only had one Pokemon, so we're good to go with this battle. Not a bad one at all. 128 experience, level 28? Yeah, level 28, awesome. Very good. And anybody else? Nope, we defeated Channel or Carly. Hmm, what am I doing? Maybe they're being uh, possessed by the ghosts. Maybe that's what's going on. Sorry, I was possessed. Yep, oh, there we go, there, there, that answers that. And we got a super potion. I actually need more of those, so that's great to see. And then there is another trainer up there to get to her, though. I might have to go, oh gosh, run, 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 run. Oh, nice, okay, I was able to dodge them and they disappeared. Okay, you're the last one I have to worry about. Hey, I don't know if I'm doing a good example of what they're supposed to be sounding like, but I tried. Channel or hope? Ghastly again. It really isn't all that surprising. It's just Ghastly over and over again. I would like to find Ghastly myself, capture it, because we haven't caught Ghastly yet, so that'd be cool. Anyways, in the meantime, let's go ahead and do Water Gun. Hopefully soon we can find some more powerful water type moves. I mean, I know we do have that one, the Burn, or the Scald. I do want to get that. Probably want to just put that over something we already have, because Bubble and Water Gun, you know, Water Gun, Water Gun sound, or they seem very similar. Like, when I've checked out the stats, you know, sucker punches, oh boy. A little scary, but we're able to make it work. And boom, gotcha. Okay, so I might just wanna switch over to Lily being out in front so that we can immediately dig and just take out whatever ghost type that way. Well, I'm saved. Thousand dollars for winning, three Pokeballs as well. Okay. I heard the ghosts can be identified with the Sylph scope. Where in the world is the Sylph scope? Got an awakening, that's not so bad. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon party around a little bit then. Uh, move Pokemon to the front, just like that. And that should be a little bit better, I think. Okay, so we're pretty good to go. I'm gonna avoid these guys as much as possible and just head to the next level. I don't know how many levels there are, but I'm sure there's bound to be a lot of them. Okay, we got a Pokeball waiting right here. Plenty of trainers all over the place. We got an escape ro rope, so if we did ever Run into a little too much. I guess we could use that and go heal, which I may sooner or later, hoo hoo hoo, beat me not. I don't know, we'll have to see who's gonna win this one. Who's gonna beat who? It's Channel or Jody. Ghastly, okay. No real surprise. I, I'm gonna assume that they all have Ghastly then, which is a little boring, but it should be fine. It's good training. Fight, and then dig. The only problem is that Dig doesn't really have too many moves, like it has uh, 10 uses before uh, we have to go replenish it or use a potion, which I don't know if we even have any of the materials needed. Oh, we got hurt by our burn underground. It's a shame. But um, any of the materials needed to actually, or any of the items that can restore the PP of a move. Okay, well the Ghastly one hit takedown. What do we got going against next? A lot of experience points there. The burn still not doing so well. Haunter, okay, this is new. Keep battling. And Haunter, ooh, Haunter looks really cool in this game. I like it. Because Haunter evolves into a very cool ghost type Pokemon. 
Oh, you actually got to attack first here. We tried to dodge it or something. That was a little weird. It was super effective. So yeah, it really does seem like ghost type moves are super effective against Psychic. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna be able to avoid that. And then, boom, one hit takedown almost. So what are we gonna do for the other bit? I might just have to dig again. Oh, so our burn was healed, I think, or something. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe we dodged a move. Sucker punch again. Oh, this is not turning out so well. Burrow underground. And we got it this time. This is definitely not easy. I def I, I think though we're gonna use that, that rope at some point, the escape rope. I mean, I already had quite a few of them and I had it in the back of my mind just in case we needed it, but it's starting to become apparent that I'm gonna need to sooner or later. But we defeated Chandler Jody. I didn't see what she said there because I pressed A too quickly. Whoopsies. May the departed Pokemon rest in peace. May they indeed. What do we get? We got TM04 Teleport. I'm actually a little curious about that one. Let's take a look. Bag, and I think that is something that Abra sometimes uses. TM case is over this way. Uh, teleport. The user switches places with a different Pokemon instantly using telekinetic power. Weird. Contextually, that seems confusing. Maybe we'll use that at some point. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab this one. Full heal, that would be amazing. And uh, we got another trainer this way. Oh, there's a ghost that popped out right there. I see a bone and crying. Wow, oh, no, it's the, it's the uh, Cubone's mother, right? That's not good. Channel or Laurel, Laurel, sorry, mispronounced your name. It's an outhaunter. Surprise, surprise, if, as long as we can use Dig first, which we may not be able to, gonna be a little bit scary. Uh, but we'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Probably should've used the heal first, to be honest with you. Come on, come on. Okay, we were able to dig first. They didn't use that sucker punch. Toxic, huh? That shouldn't hurt us at all. How did that poison us? We're underground! What the heck? <laughs> okay, just use dig. Try to take this guy on one hit, and you were able to very good. So unfortunately, poor Lily got burned, and now it's poisoned. This is. Nothing's going well for Lily. 354 experience is almost enough for a level up, but yeah, we took out Channel on Laurel. What? $1,000, very cool. So we definitely made our money back from spending it earlier in today's episode. We can't determine the identity of the ghost. Huh. Okay, well, before we move, I just wanna make sure we've gotten everything. It looks like there's one last trainer. The ghosts are trying to approach me. This trainer had very good eyesight compared to most trainers. Ghost no cool. That one was a little bit more dramatic than normal. Okay, we're challenged by Channel or Paula. Channel or Paula sent out Ghastly. So now Ghastly is becoming, well no, the Ghastly, that was Haunter, I mean. I thought that Haunter was becoming the more common one out of the two. Fight, and then hopefully we can dig. Yes, yes, okay, perfect. Might have to use that full heal on Lily here. We avoided the attack, but we're hurt by poison. That actually was really painful. There we go, boom. Nice stuff right there, super effective. And uh, what do we got next? Probably just Haunter or another Ghastly or something. I think Ghastly does evolve into Haunter. I don't know though. Uh, but yeah, level 32, awesome stuff for Lily here. Oh gosh, no, 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 don't take her out, don't take her out! Oh, that was so close! So now Ghastly, I'm going to keep battling, but then I'm gonna heal. And hopefully, uh, okay, it's just another. So we should be fine with going to her bag, uh, getting out a super potion, use it on Lily. And hopefully this turns out okay. You can do it, Lily, I know you can. Keep going, keep surviving. Thrilled to bits. <laughs> That's an interesting way of saying it. Oh my, what was that? No! Ow, we were already poisoned. Come on, that's not cool. Hurt by the poison. Come on, this is still enough to survive, right? Let's just dig again, and then we have to use the escape rope out of this, after this. It just, we have to. I don't know what's next, but, I mean, there aren't really any other enemies. Oh gosh, we're so close to getting taken out. Just do the dig, do the dig, do the dig. Boom! Gotcha, one hit takedown, super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. And the ghastly fainted, which means that is another trainer defeated, 154 experience. I don't think anybody, oh no, Eve got the level 33. How awesome, we beat Channel or Paula. Where is the ghost? Nowhere, I don't know. 
Okay, so, uh, I must have been dreaming. I don't know, everybody else had the same dream, which typically means it's not an actual dream. Okay, so let's go to our bag, and we'll try to find the escape rope, and we'll use it, and we'll just try to get out of here. Whee, it worked! Awesome, so I'm just gonna heal everybody up because I don't know what's gonna be at the top of the tower or if we're even close to the top of the tower, so it might just be worth our time. Whoa, what's happening? No, it's them again! We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is the old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon tower, right? That's right, we could get to the top because of that strange, we couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. Uh-oh, hey look, it's uh, Cubone again. Oh my. Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout, at least we will have something to show for our trouble. Right, let's head to the Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Ah, hard as a little Cubone. Want it's mommy, your mommy's in Celadon City. Come with us, we'll take you there. Mama! Oh, they're lying. I think they're lying, they might not be. Now that, that that's decided, I think we'd better blast off. So they're up to no good again. Uh-oh. Uh, I just saw something awful. Well, we'll talk to you in just a moment. Let me heal my Pokemon real fast. Because we weren't able to make it through Lavender Tower all by ourselves in one go. But hey, maybe we can have a second chance at it soon enough. We just gotta heal up first. So everybody get some good old heals here. That would be perfect. Bum bum bum. Yeah, good job. Okay, so we'll go talk to that guy. We'll go back to the tower and just sort of avoid everybody. It'll be much easier in the second way through because of everything, you know. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and talk to you. Hey, did you see Team Rocket abducted that poor Cubone? It sounded like they were headed to Celadon City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone it wears and selling it at a high price. Poor Cubone. We'll have to stop that before it happens. But before we do that, we have other things to worry about. So let's try to get the back back to the top of the tower. All right, so this was the floor we were just on, so we should be able to go up this ladder, or this ladder, the steps. Whoa, something interesting is happening here. Well, we'll do what we can. I see you over this way. Oh, I do see a Pokeball behind that gravestone as well. Join us. Not happening. Unless you mean like join us for like free pizza party, I will definitely join you. But I'm not joining like the ghostly abducted side or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> hey, here's another Haunter. We're just gonna use Dig over and over again with Lily since we got that restored as well, so that'll be awesome. So fight and dig. Lily use Dig and burn her way underground. And Will of the Wisp, but if we avoided the attack. Don't poison us while we're under the ground again. That was the worst. And boom, one hit takedown, and that was the only Pokemon this person had, so that should be it. I feel like almost obligated to take on all the trainers because they're all being possessed, and if we don't beat them, they seem to stay possessed. What a nightmare! We got $1,000 for winning that one. Cool. Okay, so we got three Pokeballs, and we are good to go. There was a Pokeball behind her that I wanna grab. I was possessed, my skills still have a long way to go. Okay, you found a nugget. Awesome. And we'll put the nugget in our bag. We can sell those soon enough. I just haven't yet. What is this thing then? Come child, I have purified this space here. You can rest yourself for a moment. Really? This was here the whole time? You entered the purified and protected space and your Pokemon were, f really? That is baloney. <laughs> Zombies. Zombies, ghosts, well, what is going on here? Halloween was last month. <laughs> You're a little late, channel or Karina. So now Haunter again. Yeah, we're sort of seeing a lot of the same Pokemon. I think it's just to be expected. You know, we're in a haunted area. There isn't really too many ghost type Pokemon in this game. From as, as far as I can tell, it's the original 150, so. Let's go ahead and just do Dig again. Burrow our way underground. Hope they don't use a poisoning move. Will of the Wisp, we avoided it. Totally fine with me. I was just hoping we'd get the chance to catch some haunted Pokemon, but so far, not the case. I mean, maybe afterwards, the opposing Haunter fainted. Eh. Yeah. Got 354 experience for that one, not bad. And so now Ghastly, we're gonna keep battling. And did our move refill? Because if so, we should only be at nine out of 10. Oh yeah, awesome. So I wonder if we can go back in there again and just refill this over and over again. That'd be really nice. So I mean, maybe I should take on all the other trainers in this room first and foremost. And I know that I'm like not doing the most interesting thing in the world, but this is what's gonna help us and this is what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so the Ghastly Fainted, that's gonna be both of her Pokemon taken down, along with it, hunting for the experience. It's really not too much experience at this point either, huh? A thousand dollars, thank you. Okay, so uh, I regained my senses. Guess who did? Uh, and we got another trainer, but there was also another Pokeball in it for us. Oh my gosh, that's so silly. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm giving them a silly thing to do, <laughs> or like silly sounds. Channel or Janae? I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Uh, Ghastly again, wow, you have four Pokemon. Look at you, you're a pro. All right, Lily, you're gonna have to do a lot of digging here and just hope that you don't get poisoned, but the chances are very high you're gonna get poisoned or something. And apparently some of these ghost Pokemon can burn you as well, so I don't know, the chances are pretty high. Another Will of the Wisp. Yeah, they keep using that, it never works, and that's good for us. So boom, Ghastly down without too much of an issue. They're all level 25 as well, which we're slowly but surely getting much higher level than that, so that's good. Got 154 experience, and uh, level 29 for Fred. So now Ghastly, I'm gonna keep battling. So Ghastly, you know, we just take took down a Ghastly, another Ghastly to go. So do another dig. Hmm. It's all about whatever they do whenever we're underground. Toxic, no, that's gonna poison us, unless it fails or something. Why would it? Lily was badly poisoned. That's so uncool. <laughs> I guess like the, the I would say it would, the poison seeps under the soil, but it's not even soil. We are under tile right now. All right, well, it's super effective. We're able to take him down. Unfortunately, at this point, we're gonna be getting hurt by a lot of the poison, but if we loop back around, we'll luckily be able to heal in that little center area, hopefully again. I'm hoping that's not like a one-time thing, because that'd sort of be a shame. Okay, I didn't even see what, who she's taking down. I don't even care. Ghastly again. Is it just seriously four Ghastlies? A little boring, don't you think? Okay, well, let's dig again. Ooh, she's sucker punching too. We didn't get hurt by a poisoning yet, that's good to see. Oh, there it goes, wow, that was painful. That took out more damage than the sucker punch did. Well, that took out a lot of damage, so <laughs> pretty even now. So what's your last Pokemon? I'm gonna take a wild guess, is either gonna be Ghastly or Haunter? Well, we're gonna find out together. Uh, yikes. Yikes, that's so damaging. Ghastly again, okay. Now I don't wanna switch Pokemon, I wanna keep with what I got. I don't remember what's, like, cause I think these guys are just ghost or not ghost poison. Uh, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Maybe I'll check my Pokedex after this, cause we should have that info now. Oh, we might actually get taken out by the poison. That would stink. Oh no, come on, we were right there. We're about to take you out. That's just sort of unnecessary and annoying. Um. Let's try Charlotte. We haven't played with Charlotte in a little while. Let's give it a shot and hope everything turns out okay. Go on, Charlotte, I know you can do it. Boom. Okay, so uh, fight and we will do, we'll just do Vine Whip and see how that ends up working out. Vine Whip. That's okay, it's not very effective apparently. Are you gonna poison us? Cause poisoning, that was not poisoning, okay. Maybe that was the Will of the Wisp. Come on, Vine Whip again. Oh, it's so close to taking you out. I know it's not very effective, but at this point we might as well keep to it and just finish the battle. It would be more of a risk just to try to switch Pokemon again. Okay, got it. Not very effective, but we made it work. 154 experience and we defeated Channeler Janae, woo! Get out of here. I'm so sick of taking on Channelers and their ghastlies. I fell to the evil spirits despite my training in the mountains. Frustrating. Sure it is, I'm so sorry. Anyways, we got ourselves an ice stone. Ooh. That's our first thing in the power up pocket, isn't it? Let's go to our bag. Because I think stones work in a particular way in this game. So we take a look. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has an unmistakable snowflake pattern. Now that's not compatible with any of our Pokemon at the moment, but if we ever have a nice type Pokemon that needs evolving, that can do it for us. So have I taken on you? I have not, and that might be tough. Give me your all. I will try. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too tough. Okay, so Channel or Tammy. It's now Haunter again. You have three Pokemon, really? This is too much. Go on, Tonka. I mean, Tonka should be okay, so that'll be good. Just go ahead and just do Water Gun right away. 
You're gonna use toxic, of course, we're poisoned again. The thing is, as weird as is like, there's there's being like poisoned or burned, and then there's being badly poisoned or badly burned, which seems to be a lot more damaging and just sort of seems to be chance based. I really don't know. That see, that wasn't very damaging that time though. So I don't know if poison in, I guess poison is good against some types and it isn't against others. That was like really good against uh, Lily. Cause like this time it only does like five to 10 damage instead of like 30 damage like it was doing before, it was insane. Anyways, we should be good with just like one last water gun. But you gotta sucker punch me first, of course. Aye, aye, aye. Come on, get you out of here. And after this, maybe we'll just move over to Eve and we'll just do a uh, zippy zap. That might be better. I know, more poison damage. Cause then we can attack first every time, we can do the critical hits. Uh, I will switch my Pokemon then over to Eve. You got it. And let's give this a shot. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. You look ready. Okay, you're gonna send out Castly. And we are just gonna zip to the zap. Because at least it makes it so that we can attack first, which is, if we can take you out in one hit as well, that's like a win-win, very good. A critical hit, not, you know, special or super effective. I don't know why I want to call it special effective. It's super effective, but it's not that. Uh, no, I don't want to switch. Just keep going with what I got. If I can do that once, I can do it again. And then hopefully we can heal in that little shrine thing, whatever it is, because that would be super helpful. Zippy zap, go for it. Yeah, one hit takedown, one hit takedown. I knew you could do it. Good job. Let's get ourselves more experience, but more importantly, let's get ourselves a heal. Maybe. Oh. All right, well, there you go, you've been defeated. I was under the, uh, I was under possession. Yes, you were. And did we get healed? You entered a purified and protected space and then your Pokemon are fully healed. Excellent, so we are good with this. I've already sort of thoroughly explored everything. We should be good to just get up this way and find out what's next. More battling. Of course, I'm sort of getting sick of these guys. I'm getting really sick of them. Destruction, despair. Oh my, it just never ends, does it? Channeler Angelica. There's a lot of channelers. It's like a whole group of them. I guess, I mean, it makes sense. This, this is sort of like the only Pokemon cemetery. They'd all gather here. Okay, do dig. And luckily now we know if we're getting a hard time, we can just stop by the place in the floor below and heal up a little bit instead of going all the way through with the escape route or escape rope. I don't have to worry about that as much. So just use dig and take you down. That was awesome. And ghastly fainted, which is also nice to see. 154 experience and uh, Haunter. We're good with Haunter, we can take him on. Yeah, now they just suddenly, it's like it hasn't gotten any more diverse. It's just, oh, now they have even more Pokemon. And it's just a little bit exhausting. I mean, I can handle the Sucker Punch. I just don't like it when they do the poisoning over and over again. So hopefully we can beat them to it this time. Yeah, looks like it, boom. Nice stuff. And uh, there goes Haunter. But you still have one more Pokemon. There's gonna be another Ghastly or another Haunter. Kobe level 27, how awesome. Ghastly, okay, keep battling. Ghastly doesn't seem as scary as Haunter. I think Haunter is the one that does the poison move, so I'm fine with Ghastly. So let's do Dig one more time. We'll find out if that's actually the case, so. Uh, Nightshade, okay, we avoided that. I don't know if we've ever seen one of them do Nightshade before, probably, I'm just forgetting it. Okay. This is honestly a lot more of an event to get through than I thought. Like it, it's been taking a lot of effort. And there we go, we defeated Channel Angelica. Oh, they, they're all the same though. They all have the same Pokemon. They all give you the same amount of things. I feel anemic and weak. And they also all give you not too much for beating them. We found a revive. It looks like I want to be brought downwards here by these ghosts. I just can't dodge them all. Or Earthqua. I mean, I'm trying to. Like to like dodge all of these ghosts, but I, I might just have to run into one. You're challenged by Channeler Amelia. She said, "Oh, Haunter." Okay, Haunter. You have a gigantic tongue, by the way. Like that thing is huge. Let's go ahead and dig. It is still super cool that in this game you really do get a, a real sense on the scale of the Pokemon. 
It's not something you see too much in the other Pokemon games, just because you only see them in a little pixelated form. It doesn't really give you a clear idea on how huge and how tiny some of them are. And this is a cool scale of different Pokemon available. It, it's just such a cool idea. Now they're getting a little bit higher level for once. That alt one was level 32. Usually they're all level 25, so that is a bit concerning, but it will give us a massive amount of experience, which is awesome. Another Haunter. What level are you gonna be? Probably level 32 again, I have to imagine. Yeah, okay, so now things are getting a bit more difficult. That's for sure. We're really gonna have to try to get through all of this or just dig it over and over again. Shadow Ball's not gonna work. Sucker Punch avoided as well. Boom, so this this guy might be enough experience to get Lily to level up, which would be awesome. Getting a lot of level ups for Lily today. This is like our second or third one. 454 experience getting Lily to level 33. Awesome. Okay. Psywave, ooh, I want you to learn Psywave, that's for sure. So Psywave is a psychic type move. The target is attacked with an odd psychic wave. The attack varies in intensity. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Oh no, I didn't mean to press that. Dang it. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, Charlotte could level 31, that's good. I wanted to learn Psywave. Okay, I gotta make sure that I'm not making that mistake here. Forget an old move and I need to learn what Razor Leaf does. Sharp Edge Leaves are launched to slash at the, po the opposing Pokemon. Critical hits land more easily. I don't know why I didn't have like a second chance to not give up on it. Um, That sounds awesome. I mean, I don't wanna give up Vine Whip, but I might give up either Sleep Powder, powder or Poison Powder. I think we're gonna give up Sleep Powder. Uh, I don't think it's as effective as Poison Powder is. One, two, and ta-da! I mean, maybe not, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, short one, Razor Leaf, very cool. I really hope we can learn some cool moves for TM Zen for Lily. I'm so sorry I messed it up. Okay, we're not gonna switch Pokemon. We're just gonna go and take on Haunter. I'm so upset with myself, I can't believe I missed out on Psywave. I don't know if it's good or not. I mean, it seems like it apparently has varying intensity, but it would've been great to get out, of, get over Pound because I don't really need Pound too much. This is a random normal type move. Like Swift, I wanna keep, it's great, for at least right now. Boom, gotcha. Super effective, I knew you could do it. Okay, well, not bad. 454 experience, and uh, we defeated Chandler Amelia. Something fell out. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Uh, but we do, we beat you. Oh gosh, my hair didn't fall out, it was a malevolent spirit. So it wasn't your hair. Okay, whoa, look at that dodge, that was super cool. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Uh, your challenge by Chandler Jeff Jennifer, not Jeffer. It's an out Haunter, again. It's a, it's your only Pokemon though. Now that's a sight for sore eyes. Instead of having like seven of them, even though you can only hold six Pokemon, you only have one. Perfect. Running low on Dig though, which is getting a little concerning. You're just gonna sucker punch. I don't really care. It's super effective. I don't care. <laughs> um, and I could have learned if Psychic is good against Ghost if I if I got if I got Psy Wave, but. You know, might not be worth experimenting with right now. All right, so Haunter fainted. We'll be able to get the Pokeball behind the trainer, and we got 354 experience for that, which isn't too bad. We defeated Channeler, Jennifer. Key. Okay, well there's that done. And we got this. Three Ultra Balls, that's very good to see. I like it. What's going on here? I don't know. Does Pikachu have anything new to say, or is? She just still worried. Oh, I'm sorry, Eve. Frightened by the spooky atmosphere. It's all right, I promise. Go ahead and get this Pokeball. It's a Hyper Potion, great. So now we have our own Hyper Potion instead of a Super Potion. Anything else going on around? Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? What in the world? Oh my gosh, what, what are you? Be gone, intruders. It's like the mother ghost. What? Eve is trembling in fear. It won't let you take another step forward. Wait, what? Be gone, intruders. Am I not supposed to do anything more than this? Was that it? Okay, well then Pikachu, would you like to stay here? <laughs> I don't get what I'm supposed to do. I don't remember. Maybe we should have just supposed to leave for now? That's weird, I don't remember at all. Okay, well if we're gonna leave, I wanna go this way so I can get a full heal super fast. This is so much faster than the actual like going to the store and doing it, where it has the whole animation, it makes me never wanna go back to it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, 
Let's get out of here then as fast as we can. I mean, I guess taking the ghosts would be faster. But yeah, what do we do about Pikachu? I mean, maybe I'm just supposed to go, like maybe that is Marowak's spirit and we're supposed to go get Cubone and bring Cubone back. And maybe what we have to do, if you guys know, feel free to let me know, I guess. But uh, let's move down this way. We definitely took on every trainer we had available and we got quite a few levels for it, which was well worth it. But for now, that seems like where the mystery ends. Don't really know how we're gonna get the, the past the ghost. Anything happening out this way? I don't think so. So yeah, we had an interesting time exploring Lavender Town. Uh, not too much went on there, but I guess we can continue exploring to the left and go to, was it Celadon City? Something like that in the next episode of Pokemon's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Ghost so I know you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.